Another special edition of the Power 5 today, as it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I'm sure you don't care about that, but I will be the one handing out the gifts, hopefully, as we try to get you some winners in Major League Baseball, the NFL, and the English Premier League. Hopefully, you caught my special EPL edition of the Power 5 yesterday here on Wager Talk TV. If not, you still have a chance to go back and check that out. By the way, all three MLB games I've got for you today, as well as the NFL preseason matchup, on TV, so watch and win time. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on these, or if you just want to show support for the show, always appreciate it. All right, let's get it started. Number one, Pirates, plus 130 versus the Mariners. Now, this selection may come as a bit of a shock to those of you who caught the morning wager yesterday on that program. I said to fade Paul Skeens, did not work out, obviously. The Pirates ended up winning the series opener against Seattle 5-3. Though I have to point out, walks remain a problem Uh, for Skeens. He had four of them. Back to today, though. It may seem odd. I realize that I was willing to fade Skeens and am now going to back Bailey Falter, the Saturday starter for Pittsburgh. But several things in play here. One, with the Pirates winning on Friday and snapping their 10-game losing streak, this is what we call a swagger spot. Now that the losing streak is over, Expect the Bucks to show up at the ballpark with a little more confidence. Second thing to consider is price. Yesterday, even with Skeens, I didn't want to play a team that had lost 10 in a row as a $1.30 favorite. Just didn't want to do it. That was what I talked about. Now it's a situation, though, where the Bucks are off a win and underdogs on the money line. Last but not least, Mariners starter Luis Castillo. He's not as good on the road as he is at home. ERA goes up more than a full point uh, to over four away from home. That's pretty much true for all the Seattle starters. And this Seattle team, which has lost four in a row now, by the way, they are a measly 14 for 123 at the plate during this four-game losing streak. They can't hit. I was wrong yesterday. I learned my lesson. We're going to back the Pirates on the money line today as underdogs. By the way, this game is on ESPN Plus. Early start, 105 Eastern. Now let's turn to the nighttime slate. You're going to get one of two games tonight on Fox National TV. Won't be a problem watching this. Uh, Most of you are going to get Dodgers-Cardinals, and I like the Dodgers in that game. I know it's going to be Bobby Miller starting, not Tyler Glasnow, who's now on the 15-day IL, but I don't care about that. Cardinals, as I anticipated all year long, have begun to nosedive. They've lost five in a row to fall two games below 500. Given that they have a minus 64 run differential, I said it, uh, that record should be even worse for the Cards. They had an early lead last night, but could not hold on. Andre Pallante starting for the Redbirds on Saturday. Team is 0-5 the last five times he's taken them out. I know Miller hasn't started since the All-Star break, and he's been pretty bad on the road, quite frankly. But I like the fact that the Dodgers lineup is back to full strength with both Betts and Freeman now available. They scored seven runs yesterday. They needed all seven of them. Miller being the starter, that gives us a discount on the money line, in my opinion. This you know, Dodgers should be closer to minus 200 for this. So I am backing Dodger Blue here. The game I'm going to be getting on Fox tonight is going to be Guardians at Brewers. And I'm backing the home team, the Brewers, as a short favorite. Brew Crew won last night's series opener 5-3. to three. Guardians could not do much against former teammate Aaron Savale. And that's not a great sign because <sighs> Savale had not been good. I know he had been good his previous start for most of the year. But going back to his time with the Rays, he has struggled in 2024. But maybe Cleveland's struggles at the plate last night shouldn't have been a surprise. They are not nearly as good on the road as they are at home. Uh, The last night's line was a bit curious, uh, I got to say. The Brew Crew, I I have them rated as the better ball club. And they were underdogs. So I I didn't have the confidence to pull the trigger on Savali, but I did think that line was curious. Odds makers have adjusted the price a bit. For tonight, but it's still in a range where I think the value is with Millie Walke. No Christian Yelich. Uh, he's out for the year, obviously, but Freddie Peralta on the mound. Let's talk about him. He has struggled with the long ball recently. However, I think he's going to be fine here. Milwaukee, by the way, one of the few teams that has a bullpen that can match Cleveland. Yes, the Guardians are 18-5 and five and Tanner Bybee starts this year, but he's, dealing, he's dealt with a shoulder problem recently. And the fact Cleveland... Couldn't score off Savali last night is the concern is a concern. Millie Wake at this price is the play to make on this matchup. For number four, our fourth play today, let's move to the NFL late night action between the Cowboys and Raiders. 10 p.m. start on NFL Network. Game out in Vegas. Total's been bet all the way up to 40. 
And I'm going to follow the money and play the over. The Raiders are one of the few teams with a legit starting QB battle still going on. We don't know if it's going to be Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew starting week one of the regular season. So expect both to play tonight. And both are going to want to make an impression, quite obviously. Uh, against the Cowboys' backup defense, that's going to lead to some points. Uh, and as for the Cowboys' quarterback situation, they've got Cooper Rush and Trey Lance under center. The Vikings were able to score 22 against the Raiders last week with all the turmoil they got going on. So I think both teams are going to get over 20 in this one. Over 40 Cowboys Raiders tonight in the NFL preseason. My final play is actually going to be for tomorrow morning. It is a Premier League bet. A quick programming note, there is not going to be a Power 5 tomorrow, unfortunately, but we will be back Monday. So I wanted to give you something to bet on for Sunday, and that's going to be Crystal Palace. Draw no bet against Brentford. Palace looking to build on a fabulous finish to last season. They picked up 19 out of a possible 20 points in their last seven matches, including preseason. They're now unbeaten in 12 straight across all competitions. If this match ends in a draw, we push. Make sure to bet that Palace on the Asian handicap and not the three-way line. I don't see Palace losing this Premier League opener, so I am willing to bet them draw no bet. Brentford, they're going to be better this season, but they were bottom five last year. Too much firepower from Palace in this particular fixture, so I go with them. Speaking of soccer, I'll have Game of the Week selections in both Serie A and La Liga available soon. I was number one in both of those leagues last season by net units uh, at all of Wager Talk, despite having to settle for a very frustrating push with Fulham plus one in my first EPL bet of the season. I'm still a red hot 33-14-3 and three, my last 50 soccer bets. Might have some MLB for Saturday as well, probably will. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash bp. Probably a good time to hop on board with that seven-day special still being offered at wagertalk.com. Just $69, get you a full week's worth of plays. That's all soccer, Major League Baseball, if I have any NFL preseason as well. It normally costs $69 to get three days. So this special offer is basically giving you four free days of service. Again, wt.buzz slash bp is the place to go. Let's now recap today's Power 5, shall we? One, Pirates plus 130 versus the Mariners. That's an early start time. Two, Dodgers minus 170 against the Cardinals. Three, Brewers minus 110 against the Guardians. Those last two games are both on Fox tonight, 7-15. Four, NFL preseason, Cowboys Raiders over 40. And number five, last but not least, this is for tomorrow morning in the EPL Crystal Palace. Draw no bet against Brentford. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, don't be shy. Feel free to share your favorite selections for Saturday and or for the weekend in soccer, quite frankly. I really look forward to seeing your feedback there. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, not sure what else I have to say. Talk about it every day. Tons of great exclusive sports betting content here on the channel. Not only am I dropping the Power 5 daily, save for tomorrow, but you, can, you, you can't forget, I should say, about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. We have a lot of fun on that program, of course. Until next time, let's cash some tickets and have a great weekend, everybody.